Hi crafty friends, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have something really fun to share with you guys. Uh, my friend Michelle over at the stamp spot sent me some of her pocket page traveler's notebooks to try. And you guys, I haven't been this excited about a new product in a long time. Now, don't get me wrong. These are not new. These are new to me. But Michelle's been making these for, I think this is the ninth year. Um, of I think this is the Stamp Spot's ninth birthday. And um, she's been making these for a while. And these are new to me, but I am super excited to play in them. Because Traveler's Notebooks were my first introduction to scrapbooking. If you didn't know that. Um, Traveler's Notebooks were the first medium that I started playing in before I reached out to Pockets and to 12x12s. So she was kind enough to send me this super nice fabric cover. Everything is on sale in the Stamp Spot shop. I will be sure to tag it all in the description box. But you guys, first of all, let's talk about these Traveler's Notebooks. So, the way these work is they're made out of super nice paper, but every other page is a pocket. Now, if you follow Diane, she's at Dearly D, you'll have seen these before, but I am just super excited to play with this concept. Like, I am just, I am so ready. And the, the actual paper that this is made from is really thick, it's good quality paper. Um, so I'm going to be working in this, so there will be new Traveler's Notebook videos coming from me, if you guys like that size. The other thing is, I have, on Instagram, I talked about my basket of shame. Well, there's a lot of them, you guys. So I was a longtime subscriber to Felicity Jane, and then I ended up canceling my subscription because they were just coming faster than I could use them. Um, but for me, Felicity Jane doesn't feel like a 12 by 12 collection that I would use, but when it comes to traveler's notebooks, these papers and these embellishments, that's where my heart lies. So now that I have fancy new traveler's notebooks, I can start using this stuff up. So I am just going to be working in the pocket notebook. I'm just scrapbooking this photo of me being angry about studying because oh, I have so many photos of angry Tashi from studying. I'm gonna stop talking and get to work and let's see what I come up with. I'm super excited to play in this. All right, friends, so let's get started. So I have um, all the materials that I showed you at the beginning of the video. And the first thing I'm doing is actually making a sequin mix. So I keep all of my sequins uh, sorted by color and by shape in these containers from Harbor Freight. Um, I will try to find them on their website and link them in the description, but the Harbor Freight website stresses me out so badly. And I actually had to go to the store to find these because I couldn't find them on the site. But if you find any sort of divided containers, those will work just fine. I like these because like I said, they're a bunch of little boxes in a big box. So I can keep all my sequins in the same place. They just work really well for me. So I made a sequin mix using the colors in that pattern paper that you're looking at. The pinks, it's like two shades of pink, the yellow and the blue. And then I added some white and a few iridescent sequins also. And then what I did was I immediately just glued my photo to the back of this journaling card and added my journaling, which I typed on my electronic typewriter. And um, I didn't want to use my computer because it just took too much work. But then with the typewriter, you make mistakes. You can't undo the mistakes. So my journaling says, hard work looks like showing up even when you don't want to, like making an effort because your dreams won't chase themselves, like being the best version of you possible, like hope, like failure, like trying again and again, like losing sleep, like failing again, like success. And really quick, really easy. It's just, just a story about my photo of me studying and just being angry. I am so glad those days are behind me. I mean, yeah, I should be prepping for the NCLEX, but if you saw what my NCLEX prep looks like, you'd probably be shocked about how like chill I am about studying for these boards but now that nursing school's over everything just feels small so now I'm creating a cluster to go on top of my journaling card I used um, a die cut from Felicity Jane I think this is from the Willow collection and then I used a yellow uh, label and I added one of the Tim Holtz chit chat stickers those I know are from on Amazon and I would try to link them in the description box but those chit chat stickers are like there's small talk and chit chat. And I think small talk is individual words and chit chat is like phrases. Those are my go-to stickers when it comes to just adding embellishments and I want to add a phrase, but I don't want to like write it out myself. They're super small. They come in black and white and they're perfect. I have so many books of them. There's like a holiday themed pack. They're great. Okay, so back to the process. So what I did here 
was I cut my uh, patterned cardstock down to the size of the one side of the page of the notebook and then I cut the white one a little bit wider and the reason I did that was so I could stick the patterned cardstock to the white cardstock so that I had a um, an 8x8, eight eight, it's more than 8x8, eight eight, but let's just say an 8x8 eight eight square to stamp on because I wanted my stamping to go over the seam. And if I didn't do that, it would be hard. So you can see, like, I wanted my stamping to go over the seam. And I'm stamping a quote from Morgan Harper Nichols. She's on Instagram. She's one of my favorite poets. And I, like, bookmark all the stuff that she shares. But this one says, I hope you know it's okay if your strength looks a little different in this season. And that is... Like that spoke to me directly with that season of my life. Like strong looks different than it normally looks. Like normally strong was being able to get everything together on my to-do list. And in that season, strong just looked like making it to the library and getting my homework done and sleeping. Like strong looks like making sure I ate dinner that night. Strong looks like making sure my husband was okay. It's all the small things that we take for granted that we don't realize we need until we're under a crazy amount of pressure. That's what strong looks like for me for these last few years. And so that quote was perfect for what I was experiencing at the time and what I'm documenting. And I stamped it using those stamps that if you've uh, watched my December daily videos, you've seen those stamps before. Those are my go-to stamps for stamping a large like quote or title. They're um. The kid stamps from Amazon, I will be sure to link them in the description box. I've used them a hundred times. I actually got them from Allie Edwards. She uses them too. And they come in two sizes. This is actually the smaller size. And then I stamped it in gray ink because I thought the black would look a little too stark for the layout. And so I just went with uh, gray ink. It's color theory ink from Studio Calico. Um, but any gray inks will, will do. I think the Studio Caligo inks are dye inks, but don't quote me because I am still learning the difference between pigment inks and dye inks and hybrid inks. I am not a stamper. I say that all the time. So I'm still learning myself, but the Studio Calico inks are great and I got them when they're on a really good sale. So now what I'm doing is creating a cluster on the bottom left of my layout. Because you see, there's that empty space under on the, the white side. On the color side, I stamped MHN from Morgan Harper Nichols because it's not my saying or my quote. So I want to give credit where credit is due. And now all I'm doing is creating a cluster using the colors that are in the um, paper. Now, if you saw me flipping through my stuff, I did to my Felicity Jane supplies the same thing I did to my Allie Edwards supplies. If I opened a die cut pack and I used some of it, it got split up. So the labels and the phrases that are kind of that can kind of be used as titles are together in one box. And then the big florals and the Felicity Jane girls that come in each die cut pack are in another box. And then the other box has like tiny shapes. So it has like the hearts or the hexagons or the crosses or all the like little like things that we can use like enamel dots to sprinkle around the page. That's all in another box. And I mean, that might drive some people crazy, but it works really well for me because when I build a cluster, I start with something small and then I go with a floral and then I typically go with a label. So I can literally go from box to box to box and pick out what I need. Or let's say I need a label and a title. Well, they're in the same exact box. So I just created my cluster. I added another one of those Tim Holt stickers that you saw me use uh, on my journaling. Again, and this is just repeating elements. I like doing that. Now, now that it's in the book, I had to do something a little bit different that you guys don't see. I had to, um, my journaling was a little bit too, my pattern papers were a little bit too small. So I trimmed it down and now all I do is create my fuse pocket. Now I'm gonna stop talking because my journaling, my video actually skips out here. Um, I didn't realize that my camera stopped recording, but pretty much all I did was use a bit of chipboard as a backing to um, back my fuse pocket. Diane showed this in one of her videos. It's just a scrap bit of chipboard and it works perfectly for creating a fuse pocket, for creating um, a mat so you can fuse in your notebook. And you just have to make sure your fuse tool is really hot. And I just went one pass on each one and I fused my photo in there. So I will just let this finish playing. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I'm so sorry you guys don't get to see the whole process, but that was a rookie mistake for adjusting with the new computer. But um, there's enough in there so you can see what I do because I pretty much did the whole thing on camera. All I did was add some sequins. So thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will come back on so you can see the layout since the camera skipped out. Until next time, keep it crafty, friends, and have the best day, and I will see you around. Bye!
Hi guys, so you'll notice this looks a little bit different from the last frame you just watched. Um, I made a rookie mistake and didn't reformat my uh, SD card that's in my camera and I just moved from a PC to a Mac so it cut out and I didn't realize it cut out while I was working. On the bright side you saw most of the process so here's what I did after it cut out. I finished my shaker so I just went in and fused my picture in there and then fused some sequins on the either side and then fused some sequins on the top and then I fused it shut and then the only thing I did was add some um, sparkly enamel dots from my stash to just add a little bit more color and to repeat that pink, blue, and yellow and that calls the layout finish. So sorry you didn't get to see the last of the fusing but I just did the same thing. I used this little bit of chipboard behind it, fused my photo in here, tried to get some sequins on either side didn't really succeed and then fuse the top with some more sequins and that calls that layout good. So I hope you enjoyed watching you guys and I will see you around. Bye!